So hi everyone and welcome to my channel Hisam Artwork. In this video I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks of what I do and kind of try and answer questions I've had on my previous video. So one of them is how do I get only half of an amount? Well what I do is I click on the keyboard shift on the uh, key on the keyboard that is called shift and you have a one on the left and one on the right and I just click on that one. Also another thing that uh, you can um, uh, do is I'm gonna have to go to pier to show you that and it is a Thursday so it should be open. Also I have to do some other shopping so I'm going to show you that then. Uh, also I've retextured a bunch of stuff as you can see in my videos here so the flower pots I've retextured them some of the um, and the um, pots from Evelyn also I've retextured the milk I will put links to all of these in the description below I had to do some custom editing uh, and what I've done is uh, I took a mod uh, it was called um, Aguilera's cute item retexture. So Aguilera's cute item retexture. I did not like her retexture, but she had the content patcher compatible mod. So you have the content patcher mod here, and it allows me to retexture things without um, editing the XMB file. And also, it has the J uh, the PNG file. Um, here available so it's really easy for me to just go and edit this with some program I don't know Photoshop or whatever else you guys have and just edit that and then it's easy to use so here is the farm outside and like I said before you can water these by yourself or if you want to use a cheat mod uh, you press the letter P once you have the cheat mod installed and you go to farm and fishing and you click water all fields. Uh, here this one I'm gonna have to take it out. I've retextured the flamingo as a, um, a couch. <laughs> so I've moved a lot of stuff around and I will sh go into a video and do that more in depth later on. I'm also working on some of the textures for the tree trunks here as you can see I might change things a lot because it's pretty repetitive here mm -hmm. so it doesn't look that great I do have two little statues here uh, mm -hmm. for the animals I had these in my other videos as well you can go check out all of them um, in that video I'm gonna have to organize this a bit around as well it's kind of hard to get around. Um, I'll probably do that offline because it does take uh, off screen, sorry, because it does take a while to do. Um, and I don't want to bore you guys, I know it takes a long time. So I've also retextured Ancient Doll to make it uh, like a cute little bunny. So um, you'll see them as I fill up the. Um, um, community center, uh, sorry, the museum. So, if you want to buy more than one thing at a time, uh, again, you press shift and you see already bought five. And you press again, you got ten. Press again, you got fifteen. Or you can um, click and then keep on uh, clicking without letting go, and you will buy until infinitely. So, be careful not to run out of money. And also be careful not to click on it uh, and accidentally sell everything. So once you put it down, don't double click or anything like that because you will sell it back to peer and you're gonna lose a lot of money. So always be careful. For example, if I need six parsnips and then I realize, oh, I need another 10 parsnips, I will put them next in another slot. I will not put them one next to the other and I will definitely not try and move them because you cannot like for example you want to move it on the other side no if you're still in the shop you will sell it so be very careful of that or you will lose a lot of money 
Okay, let's see any announcements. Okay. Hmm. Uh, she always has weird requests like that. Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> like they—they they don't seem to trust Harvey too much. They seem to try and uh, get like natural remedies, and uh, I think this is pretty rooted in American culture because the healthcare is just so expensive. And um, maybe it's, I think maybe like too much of uh, an expense and hassle to do it. Okay, so I have my uh, copper axe now. I have all my tools back. And uh, let's see if I have any geodes here saved up to process. No, I always keep a chest here in case I need it. Uh, and now I'm going to go to the mines. And I, you can use the teleportation if you're far away or if you have the mine cards done uh, you can use them here of course this is out of order and to save time I'm not gonna show you guys how I run around I'm just gonna go directly and here's where I keep my sword so I make sure I don't lose it but I've had friends that have lost their swords and they've asked me you know how do I get another sword because they haven't done the green slime um, quest so they couldn't go to the adventurers guild which is something that I can do now because I've already killed the 10 slimes and I'm gonna go uh, to the adventurers guild and it only opens at 2 so for example you wanna go now no you can't and what you can do is fish until that time and then kinda do a half uh, day mining uh, we're gonna go directly to 2. You have a, a mod here that allows you to change the time however you want. However, this will impact um, the behavior of the NPCs, so they might get confused if you move the time around back and forth. Uh, they might not be at their counters anymore, so be careful how you use that because um, uh, you can close the shops on yourself. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do if you run out of a sword. Oh, I saw, let's see, 10, level 10, I got the gift. I got it, maybe I probably got it in another video, let's see. And it gives you a sword at level 20. And it gives you a new sword. Uh, so what you can do if you've uh, if you don't have a sword anymore and you can't cheat because you're on a console, you just have to dig your way down all the way to level 20. So this is level 20. When you see the um, uh, water lake, you will have the sword, and it's pretty hard to get there by yourself. Um, you might not have the staircase, for example. I have a high level so I can uh, craft myself a staircase but if you don't have that uh, it gets pretty complicated and like I said you have to go on lucky days, have coffee, have this, have that and try and survive and get to level 20 without a sword. Which is really not easy but it can be done if you don't want to cheat or you can't cheat. Come on, bug, go away. So you're start, you're going to start to have iron at about uh, level um, 40. So right now it's still copper. So that was pretty much it, what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, if you do get stuck and you are on the PC and you're not able to get to this high level and you've lost your sword because I, I don't know what you can do. Maybe you threw it away by accident because you can see you can throw away a sword. So maybe she did that or um, some other of you guys that lost your sword did this. And what you can do if you are on the PC is get the item spawner, press I and then type sword and then you can get um, 
your sword again and I do recommend you do the quest with the rusty sword if you get greedy and try and do it with the galaxy sword um, the galaxy sword I've seen from what cheat playthroughs I've done is that it will not activate the green slime uh, quest if you play with the galaxy sword but if you cheat a little bit less and go with a steel small sword or a dark sword which is way better than a uh, rusty sword then um, the quest will still work and it will be okay so thank you for watching hope I've answered your questions well and uh, feel free to leave me more um, questions or suggestions in the comments below I always look forward to um, hearing you guys out and as always have a lovely day bye bye